The Bad Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. And depending on which part of the world you're living in, you also might know this story as The Grouchy Ladybug. If you don't have your own copy of this story yet, just check the description below for buying options. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning! said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Ah, oh, you're, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. six o'clock it met a wasp. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. Oh, you're, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At seven o'clock it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. <gasps> You're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Ah, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At ten o'clock it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. You want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. <laughs> what do you think the ladybird's going to say? Yep, you're right. Uh, uh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Which animal can you see in this picture? And what do you think the time is going to be? At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. You want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Ah, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. What do you think the skunk was going to do? What do skunks do when they raise their tails? They spray out a very smelly scent. <laughs> Ooh, you don't want to get that on you, do you? 
I wonder if the ladybird is going to fight this animal. At 12 o'clock noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Uh-oh, looks like he does want to fight it. You want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Ah! Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. I can't believe that bad-tempered ladybird is still looking for animals to fight. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. You want to fight? Yeah, if you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Ah, ah, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Oh no, at two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. You want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. <coughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. I wonder who he's going to try and pick a fight with now. Do you think he really wants to fight someone? Or is he just pretending to be very, very naughty? At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Rah! Oh! Mm, um... You're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Oh wow, this animal is definitely big enough, don't you think? At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Oh my golly gosh, what animal is this one? It looks humongous. Do you think this one will be big enough for the ladybird? At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, wanna fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Hmm, you're not big enough anyway said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Can you see the ladybird in this picture? He's so tiny. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. He's not giving up, is he? You think he's going to continue? Yes, he is. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. It's getting very late. This bad-tempered ladybird must be very tired. At a quarter to six, 
the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. Thank you. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're, You're welcome. welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. If you don't know what aphids are, you're about to find out. Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybirds eat the aphids. That's good for the trees, shrubs and other plants that have leaves. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out all my other storytelling videos on my channel. And watch out for the laughing monkey who is nearly always at the end, like this. <laughs>